Monday night, thousands of notifications were sent out to Kenton County residents, alerting them of a shelter in place due to a fire and an explosion there at the chemical facility nearby. We brought you this as live coverage as it was breaking. WCPO 9 News reporter Jake Ryle is taking a look into that notification system, the role it plays in helping first responders and helping you. It's just after 8 p.m. Monday. Covington and Fort Wright fire crews are dispatched to Interplastic Corporation on Latonia Avenue. It shook the house pretty uh, pretty good. Windows started rattling. It sounded so loud and it, it was right there next to my ear. Within minutes, fire officials alerted the Kenton County Emergency Communications Center to send out a shelter in place notice. It's called a code red alert. Well, folks living in Kenton County who sign up for code red can receive those notifications through a number of ways through emails, phone call or even text messages like this one, which was sent out at 828 Monday night. Anyone living within one mile of the site who had signed up through the county's Homeland Security Emergency Management received notice. It, like I said, it was pretty shocking. Uh, to, to get a message to, to shut there in place and didn't know what and what chemicals was letting off. So all the windows was closed. No, didn't nobody go outside, open the doors. We just stayed, stayed be, uh, where we was at. The alerts can be used for severe weather, chemical spills, traffic situations, evacuation notices, and Amber Alerts. Covington Fire Chief Mark Pierce says the Code Red service is critical for first responders. Oh, it's huge. So um, in the past, notifications like this would have had to been made door to door. So that takes people uh, and it takes time. He knows time is everything at an emergency scene. That saves us, uh, saves manpower because uh, again, like I said, trying to cover one mile radius, we do not have the people to do that. So this way it allows us to take care of the uh, incident that we're on and also notify people at the same time. And we'll put more information on how you can sign up for Code Red in Kenton County on our website, WCPO.com. For now, reporting in Fort Wright, Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News. It is worth mentioning that many local communities have the Code Red system or something very similar. So you can also check with your local community or county and see which system they use and sign up.